Hi there and welcome to Timberborn. Indeed, I am back with the beavers. So Timberborn is still in the beta stage and there are still things under development, but it had a huge update this week and it caught my attention for a number of reasons. It's added some really great improvements and I have an idea I want to try out. Farming has had a huge overhaul. No longer are we stuck with those big square farming patches that wasted a lot of space. It's all freestyle now, so you can make your farms as big or small as you want them. That's a huge improvement and it's going to up the efficiency enormously. The other new feature that I'm particularly interested in is the stackable platforms. Now, these things are amazing. Before, you had a foundation platform and a standard platform, but the beavers couldn't walk underneath the standard platform. Well, now they can. This is an exciting improvement for me for one very key reason. Stackable platforms gives us the freedom to build tall. How tall? Who knows? The possibilities could be endless. And that's why I've picked the game back up. I want to create Beaver City. Beavers as far as the eye can see. Push Timberborn to its limits. I want skyscrapers, industrial level farming, food production lines. Think city skylines meets Factorio, but with a heck of a lot of beavers. I don't even know if the game can handle this. It might crash and burn long before we've made it to a city status, but I'm going to give it a blooming good try. Whatever happens, it's going to be glorious. So before we get into city planning, we need to get this colony going. Early days can be a bit slow getting more beavers in. I mean, adult beavers produce baby beavers, but they do take their time about it. It does get a little easier the bigger your society, but early on, it's a bit of a push. We also need to get some of the research out of the way and set up a good wood production line so we can unlock access to those lovely platforms. I'll get all this underway. Right, it's been 70-ish days and the beaver town is taking shape. I've unlocked the platforms, so I've started work on the first tower block here. Now, I will say, it's looking rather like some Victorian workhouse right now. I mean, that's fine. Let's take a look at the staircase. So, this is a little platform in all its glory. And it's this little piece that's making this all possible. So, the beavers make their way in from here and then work their way up to whatever floor their residence is on. I'm going to keep building this up. Not entirely sure how high I'll go yet. <laughs> we might hit a physical barrier at some point. We'll see. Anyway, so rest of the town set up. I've got a small wood farm here, keeping up with a relatively comfortable supply of wood. This fellow up here keeps an eye out for any felled trees and replaces them. He's very good at his job. Right, back here I've got three carpenters cabins producing planks. Now, I kind of need that many to keep up with the demand for the platforms, since the platforms need planks, and we're going to have a lot of platforms in this build. Now, the food situation. The food situation is a little iffy right now. I've had a few moments where there was a bit of starvation, just, just a bit of starvation, and we may have lost a beaver or two in the process. But, but that's nothing to worry about. It's fine. No need to panic just yet. We haven't lost half the population. Also, since we don't have the printing press or the books yet, it's not like the beavers can even read about the dire food situation anyway. So they're all happy beavers beavering away as usual. They don't know about the food situation at all. So you might be thinking, where are we going next? Well, we're going to be expanding out at a rapid rate. The more beavers you have, the more little beavers you create. So it's kind of exponential. We're always going to have too many beavers. Without mandatory sterilization or something, there's not a lot I can do about it. So the explosion in population is coming. I just need to be ready for it. I'm earmarking this bit of land back here to be where the food is produced. Right now we're farming a bit of carrot and some potatoes. But that's not going to feed the masses for long. We need to get onto grain and be turning that into bread. So this little district over here will be the bread zone. All the bread will be made here and it's nice and close to the block of essentially council flats I've got going up here. Ugh, this is either going to go tremendously well or it's going to end up in utter disaster. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Okay, so there's a bit of a situation happening. We're starving again. Now, I've been working on the bread zone, so we have a gear factory here, which is needed to make... I've got these spaces here for the mill and for the bakery. 
And we've got a massive farm planted now up here. So we've got all the grain in the world, but we can't do anything with it. So basically now it's waiting out to see, are these guys going to starve? Or are we going to have bread zone up and running before then? Just waiting for this gear mill to be up and running. We need more power here for that to work. Stupidly, I built the bakeries first when I should have obviously built the gear factory first. But there's no going back now. It's just a waiting game. And yeah, look, everybody, everybody's hungry. It's ridiculous. So let's see how that goes. Right, the situation isn't quite as bad as it was before. We've got a couple of the beavers still a little bit hungry, but the potato harvest has saved us. Yep. Nice potatoes have come through and we're not starving. Well, a few of them are, but not that many. It's funny where the um, the starvation symbol is like the bit of bread and it's like they're going, where's the bread? Where's the bread? You said there'd be bread and there's still no bread. I know, but you know, this is up and running now. We just haven't got enough beavers. We, we did lose a few. Well, I say a few. We lost about 20 beavers then in the starvation. And we don't have enough now to run the gear factory. And it's still, without the gears, we're not going to get these buildings up. So just got to wait for the kiddies to grow up. So we've got more beavers that can work in those positions. So I've let things run on for a while and we are certainly seeing the town come together now, aren't we? This is the bread zone and it's looking, well, very bready. <laughs> There's a lot of bakeries in there. Um, the tower block has gone up. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six stories high now. And I think we're getting to the limit of how high we can make the, the tower block. Because when you click on them, it's very noisy as well. But when you click on them, it shows you the area that pe the beavers that are in there can work. And, well goes down the higher you get up so they must be counting like in the mathematics of it it must be counting what you're doing when it goes higher so if i go lower it spreads wider so the lower down beavers can work in more areas jeez the noise out of them the lower down beavers can work in more areas the higher up you get they can't so i guess that's going to be our limit because we need the beavers working if they can't work then society breaks down. I mean, we've already got a lot of vagrants now because we, we haven't got enough housing. And there's, there's some rough sleepers that just decided to dot themselves about in the shantytown bit. <laughs> so let's leave them to it, I guess. So something I want to take a look at. One of the new features added in the last update is the dam feature. Now, you use this with the levee to block water which I think would be an absolute disaster on this kind of map. But another part of this is using the new dynamite to destroy blocks. Now, there's a block up here that needs destroying, so I can put a stairway here and connect the path. So let's try this out. So I want to place the dynamite. Ooh, <laughs> just a bit worried there. That's, that's a bit close to the house next to it there. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I hope I don't blow up the home. I'm so sorry, beavers, if your house gets blown up. So, what happens when I place this down? Okay, beaver comes and builds it with his head in the rock. <laughs> Fair enough. Got your mate coming to help there. Guess you need two of you for health and safety reasons. Okay, it's down. Now what do we do with this? Does it do it on its own? Do I have to click on it? Yes. So you just push that big red button? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, beaver mate, uh, uh, beaver, can, can you get out the way so I can push the button? Dude, dude, get out the way! <laughs> Honestly. Right. Kaboom. Well, <laughs> that was, that was alright, I guess. I was expecting maybe a bit more damage, but I suppose they only wanted to go on one block, don't they? So, I do have one other test to do with the dynamite. There's a section of the valley here that looks like it's crying out to be blown up and let the water run through so i'm curious to see how it flows through if i blow up this entire side so i'm gonna put down a heap load of these and see what happens so do you reckon that's probably enough then yeah that seems plenty just pick one to detonate here it goes <laughs> Ooh, look at the water 
go through oh that's a really neat feature they've added that's so cool you could get really destructive with that if you wanted to not not that i'd want to mind you maybe when i'm fed up with this town or it gets too big i could just blow it all up or sink it or something so we've made a pretty hefty town so not a bad start not quite a city yet need more tower blocks i think more vagrants too possibly we are gonna run out of food again greedy beavers anyway if you've enjoyed this episode let me know what you think in the comments it's genuinely great to hear what you guys think but that's everything for today so i'll catch you next time bye for now